there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today's video is the second video in a series that I'm doing all about working with geographies and locations and addresses within your spreadsheets. And typically I am using Excel spreadsheets and at Time Saving Templates, we specialize in Excel spreadsheet templates, but today I am looking at using Google Sheets to help us calculate the distance between two locations in Excel or in the Google Sheet and also the duration amount of time for those two locations. So let me jump right into it and then I'll go over some different use cases of how I've had to use this before in HR and compensation related work. But first I have my sample addresses in an Excel file, but I'm going to go to Google Drive and go ahead and upload my, my Excel file for the example. So once I uploaded it, it still is showing in Excel format right here. So I'm just going to do file save as Google Sheets. We need to do that in order to get this extensions tab. If the extensions tab is not in the Excel version. So what I've done here for this example is I've split out the addresses falling within New York and California. The reason being is we're looking at, we want to look at how far are these locations from the company's regional offices. So say these are work from home addresses. They're actually restaurants, <laughs> but for this example, if I was in compensation, this would be something we would look at how far is the work from home address from the company's office. So there's two different scripts that we can use, app scripts to get the distance and also calculate how long uh, driving time it would take. So you don't need to know how to code. If you can copy and paste, then you can get this information in. And I don't really teach very advanced scripting or macros or things like that. I just mostly have the templates that are already ready to go, but I found this code and all you have to do is copy and paste. So it's super easy. So just click on the apps script. And I did find this code from a website called BP Webs, which I will link also link to in the comments. They do specialize in a lot of different scripts. I'm going to copy the code over everything. So it'll say function get distance. And you can see the reason why we're using Google Sheets is because it's, it's looking at Google Maps here and the mode is driving. So I'm not going to edit any of this, but it is, uh, it's also converting meters to miles right here with this calculation. So that is the get distance. And then we can space down to do the paste the get duration function in. So what the script does is allow us to now have a formula if we start typing in equals distance, equals get distance, or equals get duration, it's now going to let us do a formula. So we can name this get distance, or it doesn't really matter what we name it. Rename, and then I'm going to save project. So after you do that, and I'll have those codes in the comments, then I can just come here. I've added a column for get distance first. And so you're just going to do equals get distance. And then parenthesis, we're looking at the first address, comma, the second address. You'll notice that I have a complete address in this column, but in this column, I'm only looking at the city state and that's okay. That will work. I believe it even works if you just have zip codes, any location data that you can look up in Google Maps, you can also use this formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down and takes a second. And then we have the distance. So this is showing the distance in miles and so if we were to look this up in google maps we should be getting 
about the same amount of distance. Now, one thing I've noticed with Google Sheets is that sometimes you get an error saying it will stop working and you'll get an error that says service invoked too many times and then it won't show the distance. And I think we're limited to about 300 rows at a time. So if that happens or is a way to prevent that from happening, I am just gonna come in and do a copy paste special values after I get the distance that I need. That's just so that the formula doesn't keep running in the background, which I think is what's causing that error. So we're gonna do the same thing, get duration. Now keep in mind, this is the duration at whatever point in time that you're putting this formula calculation in and the duration can change based on traffic. The distance is probably the most stable, not gonna change based on rush hour. Maybe if there's a road closure or something like that, it, the distance could change, but the duration, it can definitely change. And also you don't wanna get that service invoked too many times error either. If it's, it's gonna keep updating, so you might wanna paste the values out of this one as well. This is showing a lot of numbers. This is actually in seconds. So we need to take this time and divide it by 60 twice. So that is what I found gave me the correct minutes when I compared it to Google Maps. And then we get the minutes in a form that, so a 0.50 would be about 30 minutes. And then a five would be five hours. This is like an hour and 38 minutes. So this is the actual time. So there you can see that you could do it either way. You could base it on the amount of miles. So this is, this is in miles. And, or you could look at the time to determine uh, what you need for for your use case. So I hope those two scripts will help you next time that you're trying to calculate the distance between different locations and that sort of thing. Now, if you are running into issues getting, uh, there's a lot more we could do with this as far as adding a form. We could add a formula that says if the state is New York, give me the distance to the New York office. If the state is California, give me the distance to the California office. So we could add some formulas in that look at that type of logic. But in order to do that, you will need a column that lists the state. So what if you just have the address all in one column and you need to separate the state or you need to separate the zip code in order to help with um, assigning which office goes to which row and you have a lot of data. We'll be covering that in the next video, different ways to format your addresses so that you can work with it to add more logic in. So look out for that next video. And the one we did before this, I can also link to that was using another Google script to pull in a zip codes. If you have the address, but you're missing the zip code, there's another Google script formula that can help with that. And also don't forget, we do have some free resources. If you just go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free, resources. We have different options for a small business, rental property management, and HR and compensation. We have some free cheat sheets as well as a free guide to get started with Excel. So definitely go check that out. And then also we have a bunch of different templates to help you streamline and save time with your work in these different areas. Until next time, don't forget, I am here to help you with your spreadsheets. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.